Hey guys, welcome back to the EA Sports FC 24 Celta Figo Korea mode. And of course, we are off to a pretty good start here. Um, we lost, well actually we won the last two games. So before that, uh, we lost two in a row. And after all of that, after all the chaos for a while, we were, you know, we were only sitting at six right now. But of course, we play one more game than Real Madrid, Las Palmas, and also Atletico Madrid. So we're relatively in a pretty good position at the moment. And we're playing against Bar C, uh, and FC Barcelona in the next game. And, you you know, at one point, we had the same record. I believe they won They won the first game. They lost their uh, next two. And then they won the last. So apparently, they're copying us. Not quite sure why. But let's look at the calendar here. Six games today. Uh, it is going to be, you know what, it's just going to be domestic competition right now. There's no European competition, which is, again, um, it's a blessing in a way because, honestly, I don't think our team is capable of performing in the uh, international side or in the European side, of course. But, again, next game against Barcelona, there's one player I do want to mention at this point is this young player, Adu Arez. Of course, he has been pretty much saving our asses in the last two games, and I think in the next few games, I believe, I might need to give him a good start. The same old starting 11 against Barcelona. Guaita in goal. Back for got Sanchez. I do. Nunes. Kevin in the midfield. We got Arez. Uh, Enzo. Beltran. Bamba. Up front we got Aspas and Larson. And to be honest. The formation I'm playing 4-4-2. A carbon copy of the Arsenal Invincible. Back in 2003-2004. Seems to be working relatively quite well. Except the Real Madrid game, I feel like um, we're doing, wait, what were we doing uh, in terms of defensive-wise? Pressure on heavy touch, and you can actually feel that when I'm when every time I'm playing. But the build-up is a little bit relatively slow, but I believe that was how Arsenal played back then. But other than that, this is a pretty good team here. Barcelona used to be one of the most intimidating teams in the world football. But right now, I don't know what happened to them. I know they are in the last uh, quarterfinal in the Champions League right now. But if I'm being honest, I wouldn't even be intimidated if we are being drawn against them. Arsenal, of course, if you guys know or follow me in this channel, I'm a big Arsenal fan. And... Uh, Right here, let's try to start something here. Here comes Enzo driving down the line, trying to cross it in the middle. It is going to be turned into a uh, corner kick. First chance, perhaps, right here. Good cross in, and just like that, we have scored the first goal. Seven minutes in, Larson is relatively on fire right now, I think. Um, he is really, really tall, and I, I really like playing that lifestyle not lifestyle what am i talking about playing that footballing style where you know there's a target man there is a portrait in the middle who's tall and quick and i feel like larson has been doing that for the past few games and who would have thought literally right after the kickoff uh we scored the first goal larson beautiful header uh and this is and jack Grealish is playing for barcelona you gotta be kidding me but this is exactly what i'm talking about barcelona um recent years they have been Falling off dramatically, of course, we all thought Xavi is going to be, um, you know, it's going to turn things around for Barcelona. And of course, we all thought Lewandowski is going to have an amazing season for them. I'm not saying that he's a bad player right now, but of course, he has passed his prime. But other than that, uh, Barcelona, relatively right now, is quite dysfunctional. Here comes Kevin on the right, finding Bamba. Very good cross in the middle. Oh, it is going to be headed away. Um, like I said about Barcelona, they used to have Iniesta, Xavi, Busquets, and right now they're all gone. Right now they're replaced by Pedri, uh, well it was supposed to be Ansu Fati. Back then it was you know, quite a big hype of a player, Gavi is certainly out for the ACL, I believe so. You know, that right now, when you look at the Barcelona squad, it's nowhere close to the prime Barcelona back in 2008-2009. Everybody was fearful every time when they play against them. And of course, Arso did made a... Wait, just one second. Oh, no. Okay. All right. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? And why am I jinxing myself every time when I play against, you know, a good team? Just like that, Petri have scored an equalizer. Wow. Okay. So, like I was saying, Barcelona was, you know, not it's not good anymore. And uh, I think, to be honest, if I'm being honest, very honest... I don't think they're gonna go back to the glory days at all. Oh my god. Rafinha. Just. Oh my god. Wow. 
Defensive wise, we are still relatively quite short. Um, wow, I was just trashing Barcelona throughout the whole game, and right now I am biting my own tail. Oh my god, Rafinha. The game just did me dirty. It was supposed to be Nunes gonna close him down, but instead the game decided to uh, win for my left back. And that is surely the winner for Barcelona. There's literally no point for me making any more changes here. Possibly one last consolation go, shall we? Zevi on the left. Gives it in the middle. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, 3-1 loss against Barcelona. 3-0-3 for the record for us. But this is certainly not a very good result. Considering I've been trashing them throughout the whole game. Well... Karma bites me. We have fallen to the ninth place right now with a goal difference of negative three. I mean, considering that our goal against, not looking good, 12. And there are several other teams also have the same, you know, uh, goals conceded as we do. Yeah, but next game we are playing against um, Alaves, Alaves, I think it's called Alaves. Uh, they're sitting at the bottom of the league table right there. One win and five losses. And to be honest, I'm feeling quite confident about that game. Get there. I've made a few. I've made a few changes here. You guys can see Angelo. It's coming on uh, for newness in this game, and a few more changes here, uh, including Perez here. Wait. To Larson. Oh, what a finish! What a finish! What a pass! Just a little bit of a. Uh, you know, this is exactly what I want. This is exactly the team I've been trying to build. It's that perfect 4-4-2. The invincible blueprint. And I think we did that perfectly. Larson. It was all down the right-hand flank. Uh, Perez, again, give all the credits to him. Uh, making a very good run. Good pass to Larson. And very lethal in front of goal. And we have finally opened up the score 1-0 after, what, 40 minutes. We've been very patient here. I don't know why that was in the foul. I'm not sure. Sanchez in the middle. Oh, to Larson. <laughs> How lucky that was. It was a ricochet off the defender. I was looking for Perez the entire time. But you know what? That, you know, that R1 pass, you know, adding a little bit more power behind that pass. Ricochets off the defender and perfectly into the foot of Larson. Oh, my God. That was perfect. And just like that, we've taken 2-0 lead. Larson seems to be... A very good player. Uh, it's the type of player I really do love. You know, tall, strong. Uh, very strong in the air as well. Good finisher. Corner swings it in by Chevy. And it is going to be a goal for this player. I don't know who he is based on the face. 24. Who's 24? Oh, my God. It's our newly signed player. Agulo. Angulo. You know what? He deserves a start for the next few games. I mean, he has been phenomenal in this game. And it's impossible to drop him at the moment. But we have extended the lead here to 3-0. And I really don't see us losing from now on. But I think it's also a good chance for us to make some changes here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make all the changes if I can. Mangiza coming on. I feel like I should you know, give him a little bit more chances. Larson... Uh, has a pretty good game, but you know, I don't really want to risk anybody at the moment 3-0 is the final score 4-0 and 3 seven games in and I thought having 12 points right now with this team It's a pretty good achievement Sitting at eighth right now and Las Palmas sitting at fourth Who would have thought a team like them is able to sit at fourth right now 16 points Having the same points with Barcelona and Madrid. Of course, Barcelona lost the last game. And for us, 4-0 and 3. 12 goals scored and 12 goals conceded. Putting us back into goal difference to, you know what, at least not negative at the moment. But next game is against Las Palmas. Setting a 4 right there. Uh, start of the new month, October. Uh, which means there's only one thing. The Youth Academy report. It's here. And guess what? Oh, Bornell. You know what? It's fine. It's being scouted to another place. I think this is a German side. I believe so. I'm okay removing him. Calderon. Mm. These players are... It's fine. You know what? We're getting a five-star, five-star scout. 
Uh, not everything has to be completely accurate. I mean, right now we have a very good youngster in the youth academy. I can't wait to see, you know, whether if we're able to uh, use him in today's episode because I feel like he's about to get called up very soon. Uh, well, uh, first got a report from the Brazilian side. Oh, Bruno Cruz looks like a very good player, but his overall is a little bit low. Potential, the range is a little bit sh uh, way too big as well. Uh, Costa is not going to make the cut. Ferreira is not going to make the cut as well. Dos Santos is not going to make the cut as well. So, yeah, um, a very disappointing, a, re uh, a, a really disappointing um, uh, scouting report from, from what am I talking about? Uh, from, from Brazil. Fabian Ponce. You know what? 65 rated with the potential from 80 to 94. Left foot is 6'1", which lines up perfectly to how we're going to play. But of course, the only problem he has right now is his weak foot. One start weak foot. We got to train them up a little bit. Uh, has to be at least two or three stars in order to nourish properly in that role. Uh, what other training plan? I mean, it's going to be the same anyway. He is going to be a playmaker. Uh, why not? You know what, guys? I'm going to call up our first youngster. This guy looks really, really bright. Yep, this guy reminds me of Rodri. A Rodri regen. Uh, not quite a regen, to be honest. Uh, the fact that he's not a central defensive midfielder. But let's see how he is with his potential. Because that's the only thing I am you know, thinking about right now. Where is he? Where is he? Pawns. Oh, has potential to be special. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to throw him into the starting lineup from now on. He will be wearing number 50, 57. How about that? You know what? I think that is, a, that is a fair number. You know, Youth Academy, try to give any Youth Academy products or youth players uh, a higher number to match with the realism. So let's go to match day. And we're time to witness a, a history here. At this moment, uh, De La Torre will be moving to the uh, reserve area. Ponce will be starting in this game 100%. 100%. I, I can't stress how good this guy can be for the club. Aggression is slightly lower than I thought it would be. I mean, being in this team, an invincible uh, blueprint team, you got to be, you know, your aggression has to be much better than that. I think other than that, I think this is the starting lineup I'm going for. Aspects winning the ball back. Beautiful. Here comes Chevy on the left. Go on, drive down the line. Finding Larson, who is on fire, but good save by the goalkeeper. Oh, what is going on with this game? I'm telling you, I've been back right now in the city for two, three days, and I've been playing FIFA for a while, and this is the gift. This is the comedy show I've been all waiting for. What has EA has done while I was gone? I'm not quite sure. There's so much time. Why would you want to clear like that? Off the defender's head. Wow, this is a massive gift. Here comes Bemba. Finding Larson. He's not the quickest, but hold up play. It's brilliant. Not quite of a pass I was looking for. Wait. Oh, in the middle. Come on, Ponce. Oh, ho, ho. our youngster have scored the first goal in his debut as well. The 17-year-old youngster. The Wadri regen. It's here. Oh, my freaking days. We have found a jam. He is similar, or the hype he has is not quite there compared to having Arthur Bruce in my last save in the Stephen H. Korea mode. But I think this is probably the only youngster where, you know, I call him up within um, one or two episodes or within th three or four episodes. And he instantly becomes a star overnight. Come on, Pons. Oh, Ponce did very well. Holding off the ball like a beast. And we get it cleared. Perhaps a counterattack. I mean, I, I love this Ponce guy. This guy looks really, really good. And what the hell is that? Well, back to defending. Nunes. I uh, don't want to commit any body forward. That was a very good finish. Wow. We made a very poor mistake. I think Bamba with that missed pass. I don't know what he was doing. But Las Palmas has got one back. Malero on the left. 
This is good tackle. Good tackle by Kevin. Holy crap. Kevin has been really, really underrated in this game. Actually, both of our fullbacks has been, you know, relatively having a very good season so far. Here comes Sanchez. The running horse. The left flank. That should have been a foul. Good ball in. Bemba. Oh, from a tight angle, we have scored. Bemba with the goal this time. It's all down to Pond. It's all down to Chevy. It's all down to Sanchez to create this beautiful goal. From a very tight angle, Bamba has converted his one in. I thought it was a little bit offside for a second, but that pass right there was, was not great, but how committed Bamba is in this game. It's unquestionable. Uh, goalkeeper should have probably done a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain another goal, and perhaps this might be the winning goal. 3-1 is the final score. Certainly, it is a very memorable debut for Ponce. Uh, I think I'm going to call him Ponce at this point, right? I mean, that's a Spanish name. Uh, but yeah, it's a very memorable game for him. I feel like this guy is going to uh, is going to shine in this safe. I mean, right now, we spent, what, $12 million on a center midfielder right now. Turns out, when you look back, if we somehow scouted Ponce a little bit earlier on, I don't think we would have signed another center midfielder. I can't talk enough how good this guy is. Scoring his first goal on his debut. Uh, Tactical-wise, physical-wise has been amazing. Mental-wise is still getting there, but this guy is an overall jam. I'm so happy that I got him after all. After the last win, it put us back into the top 8 section here. We're sitting at 7 with 15 points. And of course, next game is against Catafe. They're sitting at 10th with only 11 points. But right there, finally, goal difference. We can finally see a positive 2 there. So we got to keep on going. Here comes Aspas. He need a little bit of help here. Here comes Bamba. Oh, he got tons of pace in him. Keep on going, son. He has to score. Tight angle, oh, through the legs of the goalkeeper. Wow, five minutes in, Bemba with an explosive run to the middle and scored a pretty fine solo goal. And we have taken a 1-0 lead. It's all down to Aspas, who created the chance. Oh my god, holy crap. Who would have thought that one little cross there by Katafe have scored? And they equalize it right after six minutes. And the funny thing is... The man here, Ponze, hasn't even have a touch of the ball. And two goals are being scored from both sides here. Bamba finding Ponze, making the run. He is not the quickest, but he will make sure you get there. To Larson. Aspas going to finish it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful play by Ponze. Making sure the ball is in play. Making sure he is going to force an error on the opposition team. And he did that perfectly. Lays it off to... Uh, I believe it was to Larson and Larson to Aspas. And from that moment, he cannot miss it from there. The captain, the veteran, the legend of the game have scored the go-ahead goal. Here comes Ponce. Come on, keep on going, son. Oh, my God. What a play. Holy crap. This guy, it's a tank. This guy, he has a truck. Nobody can pull him down. He is the definition of he is him. Two games. Back-to-back -back games, starting back-to-back -back games, and he has scored back-to-back -back goals. Holy crap, what a player he is. Just keep on driving. He, he, he doesn't care. He has the body. He has the physique. He has everything in him. And that finish right there to top right corner, you just can't stop in this guy, isn't it? This guy is way too good. Holy crap. I don't know what I've done. I don't know what the, the, the Youth Academy department has been cooking. But they deserve a race. I see Aspas making a run. Back to Ponce. Aspas, oh, what a finish. What an assist by Ponce again. Aspas with his second goal. A very good finish as well. Could have probably taken a, another extra touch. But he decided to go for experience. And he did that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Ponce is so good. Very good in the air as well. Making sure he wins the ball in the air. And feeds it back to his captain. And that finish to the bottom left corner was as good as ever. Bamba. To Perez. Can we make it five? Yes, we can. Enzo scoring his first goal for the club. Makes it 5-1 in this game. Is it 5-1? 
Oh, 5-1. I mean, this is definitely the biggest scoreline we have. Good ball to Dufakes. Come on. Well, you know what? To Perez. 6-1. Two players coming off the bench and scored. And I think right now, we have a, it shows that we have a pretty good depth in the team. You know, despite we scored four goals, you know, with the starting 11. But on the bench, they also make impact as well. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have the biggest scoreline here. 6-1 of the season. And what a way. What a way to continue our streak. So I did that off screen. Uh, apparently, we have 6-7 to seven center midfielder. But I think right now, with the emergence of Ponze... I don't think a lot of the midfielders will be used, but I think this one, it's an interesting one, Swat, I think Swatberg, um, he has a potential tag on him, but I think right now, um, I really don't quite see him being in a team so far at the moment, so I'm going to loan him out for a short term, I think this is definitely, he's not going to interest me at all, but a short term loan would be good, Alvarez, Hugo Alvarez will be leaving 100% for sure, again, I, I don't think we have um, a lot of money and I don't think we'll be able to use that money to sign anybody at the moment but you see we keep receiving good offers coming in but once you know that you accept the first offer the first offer is usually um, I think the first offer is usually being um, accepted in a lot of ways but right now second game uh, well not fifth game today wow holy crap time flies for me so Atletico Madrid uh, they're sitting at first round with 21 points. We are sitting at fourth with 18 points. So we only three points away from them, but we're sitting at fourth right now at the moment. Uh, Swatberg will be heading to Garona, uh, a fellow Spanish giant. And I believe we sold a few more players as well. Damien as well as another player that I'm looking to, uh, looking to sell. Uh, ooh, Damien. Okay. You know what? It's fine. Uh, I, I, I probably don't want to bargain for you know a little bit more uh, i don't think it's gonna make much of a difference but it's time to look at the training plan some of the players went out for international duty and everybody is fit to play this next game a big game against atletico madrid sitting a fifth right now i said i i said it was fifth but it doesn't matter we're only three points away so if we beat atletico madrid then we will be sharing the same points with them of course right now they're so far undefeated in La Liga. Let's try and ruin the fun. I'm serving on the left. Cuts in the middle. Beautiful play. Overlapping run by Sanchez. He is onside. Oh no, he's offside. He is just about offside, isn't he? Let's see. Oh yeah. Hmm. The trailing leg, isn't it? Yep. His front foot went over the line a little bit. And by the way, let's talk about Atletico Madrid. They, again, of course, they're going to talk about that night against Inter Milan. Of course, incredible comeback. In the penalty shootout, allowing them to earn a ticket into the quarterfinal. But wait. Griezmann. Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> Just as I was wanting to talk about, you know, want to talk about them. They have scored. Wow, what a good goal by Griezmann. Um, yep. This is why sometimes I decided not to talk that much while I'm playing. Because I'm not going to perform well. But yeah, I think they are a pretty good team. The fact that Arsenal didn't draw against them, it's a very good sign, I believe. We The last time we played against them was back in 2017, right? I think it was a Koscielny slip in the end, uh, which didn't allow us to go through to the final or semi-final, something like that on Vanga last season for the club. And here comes the left-hand side. Oh my god, it's another bad pass. Oh my god, holy crap. And out of one, 17 minutes in, Ben Yedda have scored. The legend of the game as well, we all know who he is. And just like that, 20 minutes in, 2 nil down. As I said, I really want to ruin their fun. They ruined their unbeaten season so far, but I think that is not going to happen. Here comes Aspes, good turn. Try to go for it. Oh, all black with another save. This feels like a game where no matter how many times you're going to shoot against goal, you're not going to get a goal. And this is the type of game. Aspas again. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not going to happen today, isn't it? Enzo finding a res on the left. Come on, one more. We just need a goal. We need a consolation goal. 
Oh my god. Wow. Defensively, I think uh, Atletico Madrid has been really good. Oh my god. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. That was such a powerful header from De Vazquez, but De Vazquez. Is it Vazquez? I don't know how to pronounce his name, but there it is. A 2-0 defeat at the home turf. Uh, very disappointing loss for sure, but you know when you have games like that, Old Black keeps making all the tremendous save we can for the life of god we just can't we just can't score all right we're gonna do one more so after that loss which put us back down to the seventh place with 18 points but we have a game in hand to play so it is going to be a very interesting one i mean right now it's either we win or we lose there's no draws or anything in between but uh, we got two news alvarez and also damien it's gone for a relatively a good fee, but that doesn't concern us with the amount of money coming in. But yeah, last game here against Corona. I was sitting on 15th, and I think I am quite confident about this game. Your mass pass to Servi. Come on. Mm. Servi winning the ball back very nicely. Ponze finding Aspas. Good turn. Finish it. Oh, beautiful finish. I don't know what his weak foot is, but this is a very good finish. Ponce with another assist, and we are taking the one nothing lead against Girona. Aspas, he is free. Oh, that little run. Finish it. Oh, beautiful finish. Aspas has scored. Yago Aspas, the legend, have scored again. I believe he has scored around six goals already in this campaign, but that was a brilliant finish. That little movement in the middle, you guys can probably see right there. Just dragging the defender with him, and then he got to make sure that he moved back to where the line was. But that finish from that angle is such a legendary finish. But there you go, 2-0. It looks like we are going to secure another victory, our seventh victory of the season. Oh my god. Well, they have to score. We can't really keep a clean sheet, and I might potentially jinx the result. But they got one back, Girona. That was a very good play, but defensive-wise, we are atrocious. And I think it's time to make uh, some changes here. Uh, three changes coming on. Uh, you guys can probably see it on your screen right here. Got to leave one substitution just in case. Oh, my God. No, not now. Not now. Not now. No! Oh, wow. I am the master of the jinx. They scored back-to-back -back goals. I do has been blocked off by the number seven, I believe so. Or maybe not. Where's my defending? Where's my defense? We were in a very good position, right? Taking a 2-0 lead. I thought that would be the seventh win of the season. But I guess not. It's either right now we take the draw or... We take the win. There's no one between. One last chance. Can we? Oh, no. Well, that is going to be yellow card. Potentially, they might delay the play a little bit. Oh, no. That's it. Wow. First draw of the season. You know what? I'll take that considerably how horrible we were in the last 20 minutes. I am going to lead the episode here, guys. So, six plays right now. 19 points. Scoring 23 goals and conceding 18. I think... We have no problem scoring, but defensive-wise, it is still a biggest flaw in our team right now. But you know what? I think considerably the first 11 games, we got ourselves in the top six area. I'm very happy about it. Again, next uh, episode is going to be five to six games episode, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.